Welcome to Math is Fun. Let's enjoy learning about equivalent fractions. But first, let's get some pizza. Here is half a pizza. This is two fourths of a pizza, and it is still half a pizza. Now it is four eighths, and two fourths, and a half. These are all equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions have the same value, even though they may look different. How do you know if fractions are equivalent? Because when you multiply or divide both the top and bottom by the same number, the fraction keeps its value. The rule to remember is change the bottom using multiply or divide, and the same to the top must be applied. So, here is why those fractions are really the same. When you multiply the top and bottom of one half by two, you get two fourths, because one times two is two, and two times two is four. And when you multiply the top and bottom of two fourths by two, you get four eighths, because two times two is four, and two times four is eight. More equivalent fractions. Here you can see lots of equivalent fractions. For example, half is the same as two fourths. Two thirds is the same as four sixths. Three quarters is the same as six eighths, and so on. Dividing. Here are some more equivalent fractions. This time by dividing. When we divide the eighteen by three, we get a six. When we divide the thirty-six by the same number, we get twelve. So eighteen over thirty-six is equivalent to six over twelve. When we divide the six and the twelve by six, we get a one and a two. So six over twelve is equivalent to one over two. Choose the number you divide by carefully, so that the results, both top and bottom, stay whole numbers. If we keep dividing until we can't go any further, then we have simplified the fraction, made it as simple as possible. Summary: You can make equivalent fractions by multiplying or dividing both top and bottom by the same amount. You only multiply or divide, never add or subtract, to get an equivalent fraction. Only divide when the top and bottom will still be whole numbers. Thanks for watching. After theory comes practice, so try the your turn questions at the end of mathisfun.com forward slash equivalent underscore fractions dot html, so you get to really know this subject. Bye for now.